I spent 20 years as an equity analyst. I've always been trying to predict the future. I've always focused on the truth. And so eliminating cryptocurrency was incredibly easy for me. Money does not survive unless it's backed by a commodity. Mm -hmm. That's been true since the beginning of time. Here's the thing. What's the commodity that backs Bitcoin? I couldn't be more impressed, actually. I've been to countless conferences similar to this. I don't think I've ever been to a conference that was as well put together as this. So from just a logistics standpoint, mm -hmm. really impressive. Jimmy's speech at the beginning, I, I normally ignore, but I gotta say his speech was, it almost put chills down your spine. The thing that led me to BSV, when I looked at Craig's writings, I realized he's the only person in all of crypto in 10 years that ever described the cryptocurrency money part as backed by something. It's backed by this asset. The value of Bitcoin is the network itself. It's, it's an asset that costs money to build. And what you're exchanging is when I give you a Bitcoin, you now have, it's like a ticket to ride on the greatest railroad of all time. But in reality, it is, it's just computation. And so in that respect, the main competitor to BSV isn't the dollar. The main competitor is Amazon Web Services sure. and Microsoft Azure and Apple iCloud. And so if you put all that together, you have this beautiful, beautiful, elegant creation that one man put together using economics, math, coding, multiple disciplines, which is why it was never really brought forth. When I saw Bitcoin, I realized that it solves the number one problem in the world today, which is none of the money. There's not one currency in the world that's backed by anyone. We've lost all of that. And it's been 50 years of money that is now taxable by printing. Every government does it, every local government does it, and it's the biggest tax on, on human human effort that there is. And so I've always been on the lookout for the solution and I thought the solution was just going back to gold. But there's a chance that Bitcoin is more efficient than gold in terms of backing the money because it's weightless. It doesn't require energy to save it. There's multiple ways you can compare it to gold as the, as the thing that should back money. I went to a coding school called Lambda School to learn to program something. And I have multiple apps that I'd like to develop. I think over the next three months, I should have something that goes up on the App Store that will hopefully wisely incorporate BSV the way I think it needs to go into my app. I'm not going to be the greatest coder, but I have the vision and I know what needs to be built. When I see these guys present them in awe of what they can code, but I know like where they can improve it. So my goal at the end of the conference is maybe not to get a job here, but I do want to work within the community as my number one goal. So I just want to put all of my, 100% like of my working career effort into something that goes into BSB. I just want to know like, okay, what are you developing? Could I be excited about it? How can I help you? I think of BSV as the last revolution of, of digital. And it's the most important because it's, you're taking quantum bits and you're creating money out of it, but you're also creating this beautiful commodity that will kind of put the exclamation point on all the technology that's been developed since the transistor.